junk. Hey, bud. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> hey. hey. Thanks for coming in this weather. No problem. Hi, Daddy. Hi, buddy. <laughs> uh, I'll bring him by noon tomorrow. Is that great, okay? Great, great, great. Okay. Listen, do you have a minute? Sure. Okay. Oh. All this stuff. Huh. What's going on? What's up? Um, you should know. I'm taking Philip to court. Oh, I, I thought this whole thing with Zach was settled. It was. As long as I caved into Philip's demands and gave up the rest of my life. But I'm not going to do that. I don't think I'm teaching my boys anything if I do that. So I've decided my children are going to live with me. Both of them. And Gus is going to live with me. And that's where you come in. Going out? Yeah. In this weather? Well, it's a little wind. So what? It's gonna get worse. I heard on the radio they said there's gonna be 50 mile an hour winds off oh. the lake and maybe even rain. Ooh, okay. I'll take an umbrella. Thanks. Well, can I go with you? No. All right. As what? As a little windbreaker? I don't think so. <laughs> I'll just keep you company. Mm -mm. This is business. See you later. Hey. Nice night for a walk on the beach. Yeah. Well, I don't want anyone to see us this time. I figure it's pretty deserted around here this time of year. Right. Carmen, make a move. Not yet. Soon. What makes you think that? I walked in on her and my grandmother talking earlier today. They fed me some line of pool when I asked them what was going on. Maybe it was uh, Carmen asking for Maria's approval for the hit. Mm -hmm. and Carmen's no dummy. As long as my grandmother's alive, she's clout with the other family, so of course Carmen is covering her bases. Even in my world, killing your son is not looked upon lightly. You'll be out of it soon, Danny. Yeah, one way or another. You've been waiting a lifetime for this opportunity. Your family's gonna be out of business and you're gonna be all right. Very gonna be all right. Tony, too. Blanket immunity. I tore up for everything. Kids covered. I got him covered. Still, I want another signed copy of those immunity papers in my hands tomorrow morning. I want to safeguard a copy for Tony, just in case. Mommy dearest. Yeah? Danny? I need you to help me tomorrow night. Can you be available? It depends. What's up? I have a shipment being delivered, and the way my money's been disappearing lately, I don't want to take any chances with this property. Uh, I can give you Ernesto and Luis for the night. No, 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 no. I want you to handle it, Danny, personally. I'd feel better. You just don't know who you can trust these days. Where and when? The yacht will anchor in the lake on Haley Beach, near the bluff, you know it. Yep. We can watch by the bluff. They'll uh, be delivering by rowboat. No motors. Nice and quiet. What time? Midnight. Okay. See you there. 
Thank you, Danny. I knew that I could count on you. Help me out. Tomorrow, midnight. That's when my mother's planning to kill me. So, tomorrow night, huh? That's what Danny thinks. I plan on surprising him tonight. Are you sure you're prepared? I brought Danny into this world. I gave him life. I can take it away. Tell me you didn't break out of no, prison. No, it was all legal. It was Good. all legal. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Get in here. What is what is Get this? Over here. What is Hi. going on? Is this some kind of a surprise or something? Well, we were gonna tell you, but but we why? just found out. Ross, well, we got an emergency hearing, so we had to move very, very quickly. And I knew that you were gone on business, and I didn't want you to get your hopes up if it wasn't going to be good news. What, what hearing are you talking about? This, was this for the appeal? Or... No, Josh, there may not be another trial because we've come up with new evidence. What, what evidence? I mean, who, who found it? Hey, am I late? You're right on time. <laughs> I want to make sure that Danny is alone tonight. No guards, no Tony. I'll take care of the guards. And Tony was upstairs. How will you find Danny? He doesn't trust me. Remember, he'll go to the lake. Check it out. What if he... What if he has police with him? I'll have the advantage. He won't be expecting me, but I know exactly what I'm looking for. Where's Tony? He went out. Maria, can you give us a minute? Of course. I want you to get Tony back here right away. And I want you to keep him here busy all night long. It's time you start earning your keep. Hey, Karma's gonna want me to meet her up there. Oh, that's great. It's gonna drop your body in the water, pretend it's a suicide, act like she's toughing it out. No. No, she won't take that chance. She'll want to make sure nobody ever finds my body. She's going for the isolation. I'm gonna go scout it out. Wait, wait, hold up. It's time for the backup, all right? What? No, no yeah. way. Yeah, it's getting too close. I don't think you should be alone. Carmen's got eyes and ears everywhere. I don't want some some crooked cop or snitch ruining no, this. No, I'm not saying that. We'll get some people that I trust. No, I don't want anyone near me, especially someone new. Well, she'll, she'll smell a setup I a mile away. I would myself. I'd follow you, but things I don't want you near point. me either. Anything that might scare her off. I want this over. All right, well, I'm gonna stay close in touch with you, all right? Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. <coughs> Smitty. Good man. All right, you know what to do? Don't worry. I got his back. Yeah, just make sure he doesn't see you, okay? I don't want him getting nervous and freaking out and then blowing the whole thing. I want that witch in jail. Look, you nail Carmen Santos. The whole station is having a party. I'm on it. 
What's going on? It's freezing. Get yourself a warmer coat. Get some privacy. <sighs> okay. Why are we here? I need to go out of town again for a while. Business? Yeah. It could be the best thing that ever happened for this family. But, Tony, before I go, I want to make sure that everything's going to be taken care of here. Just in case I don't make it back. Hey, okay, did he go right down? Out. Oh, <laughs> So what's going on here? How did this thing with uh, Philip get so nasty? Oh, who knows? A day at a time. <laughs> I hate it too. But you know, he gives me no choice. The way he acts. So I'm taking him to court. That's it. And that's why I need your help. Harley, I can't take sides here. No, I'm not asking you to take sides. I'm not even asking you to badmouth him. Nothing like that. Okay, so what do you want me to do? I just want you to tell the court that I'm a good mother that we have a son together and that you have no problem with Gus being oh, a yeah. part of our lives. I can do that. That's that's no problem. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Just be sure. What? Harley, I don't want to see you get hurt again. And I want you to be sure that this man loves you. That's all. <clears throat> hey. Hey. How are you? Hi. Hi. I knew that you'd be over here with Jude, and so I came over. I needed to talk to you right away. Buzz told me that you, it's about the case. Which case? The case. The, the case. case. I'll go check on Jude. Thank you. Thank right. you, Frederick. What are you doing? What do you mean? I was just getting Rick. Hi. 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 I was just getting Rick to agree to help me in court. Yeah. All right. Well, I had to tell you something. Carmen Santos is going to try to kill Danny tomorrow night. What? Yeah. Tomorrow? Mm -hmm. All hell is breaking loose at the Santos mansion, and my sister's over there. Okay, now she's either going to get somebody killed, or she's going to get killed herself, or she's going to blow our whole case. we got to get her out of there tonight. Okay. I want you to keep Tony busy all night long. You mean, like, no phone calls? Nothing. Busy, Eden. Completely engrossed. You understand what I'm saying? Well, I would love to, Carmen, but I don't know where Tony is. Call him on his cell phone and get him back here right away while Maria and I go to Mass. How? You know, Eden, I'm beginning to lose my patience with you. All right. All right. Don't get so nervous about it. You're a beautiful girl. I'm sure you'll find a way to keep Tony from thinking about the business for a while. I'm counting on it. All right, okay, this is getting weird. What, what's, what's going on? Come on. Nothing. I'm going on a trip. That's all. I want to make sure everything's taken care of around here. Uh, you'll be in touch while you're gone, right? If I can, it may not be possible. Okay. Well, I'll handle the business however you want me to. Just tell me what you want no, done. No, no, I don't care about the business. It's Michelle and Robbie. Hold on, back up. I thought the deal was we stay away from Michelle and Robbie. Yeah. No contact, That's right? That's right. No, it's the best way to keep them safe. And what, you change your mind? No. Look, Tony, I've been keeping an eye on them. Just to make sure that they're all right. Why are you talking like a dead man? I'm not. I, I'm just... All I'm saying is, if I end up having to be away for a while, I want to make sure that you pick up the slack, okay? Robbie's your godson. Now, don't be in their faces. Just make sure that they're all right. Yeah, okay. You got it? Let's see here. I look, I look out for Robbie, but not so he knows it. You're going somewhere. You're not going to tell me where. You may be in touch, you may not. Uh, you don't know how long you'll be gone, or even if you'll be back, but I guess I'm not supposed to ask you about that either. When did you stop trusting me, man? What? No, it's not that, Tony. Well, that's sure as hell what it's it not. sounds like. Since when? when? When have I ever doubted you? Every decision you've made, I've always stood by you, have I? trying to protect you, Tony. From what? 
Tony, just listen to me. If what, what I'm doing, if what I'm planning works out, you are gonna have a chance, so, a real opportunity, opportunities that you never dreamed possible. It's big and it's good. But if it goes wrong, if something goes wrong, I don't want you catching any heat. Listen, if you're taking some chance, if you're making a big play, no. you need me, Danny. No. I watch your back. That's my job. Not this time. Well, I should at least know what's going on. Come on. You'll know. Believe me, when it happens, you'll know. Go ahead. Take it. It's just a house. Then definitely take it. Why? Tony, don't question me, please. What? Tony. Yeah, look, I'm a little busy right now. It's not good timing. Well, when are you not going to be busy? I don't know. For a while. Look, I'm here alone, and I'm running a fever. And when I left the hospital, the doctor said that that's bad. It could mean that my wound's not healing properly or I have an infection or something. Hang on. Just take a deep breath. If you feel sick, call the guardhouse. One of the guys will take you to the hospital, all right? Yeah, but the guys aren't you. Please, Tony. Look. Hold on. Go. Go. No, no, I'm we're done. No, we're we're done. not done. Tony, I still have to... I need you to go, please. Don't raise any suspicion. Look, I'll, I'll be there in a while, okay? Thanks. I'll be waiting. He's on his way. Good girl. Now keep him here. Yes, ma'am. Who was that? Was that Eden? Yeah. I want you to be careful with her. I told you, I know what I'm doing with her, Tony. Right? You don't turn your back on a girl like that. Why, you know something that I don't know about her? No, no, I'm just, I'm just saying. She's not Mara. You could trust Mara. Right, Mara loved you. What she you, probably what still is, does. Why are you bringing up Mara? Look, what things change, Tony. Things, believe me, things. Just think about what you really, what you really want. What you really need. Okay? I gotta go. No, Danny, Danny, you can't leave. You've come a long way. You're like a little brother to me. We take care. No, Danny, Danny, wait! Richard had a living will drawn up in San Cristobal. Well, I, I thought we looked into that, though. We did. We examined every legal avenue there was at the time. Well, it, um, it was sent to me in some state papers, but I, I... The envelope wasn't marked, so I didn't know it was there. I, I could have found it sooner, but I, I just didn't know. I, I'm just glad you found it at all. Thank you, really. So, so w what, what did that do, exactly? Well, the district attorney's main contention is we didn't know what Richard wanted for himself, actually. And without a do-not-resuscitate order, all we had was Reva's word. But this new evidence, that puts a real hole in their claim. And that was what got her out of prison? Uh, for now, yes, you see, they could refile the same charges, and then there would be a new trial. But not tonight. No, no. <laughs> because tonight, we're thinking about all being together. I'm home, I'm with my family, and I think we all should agree that the trial is over for now. I'll go with that. Me too. <laughs> Mom, you just got to make sure you stay in shape. Oh, really? Stay in shape on prison food. Yeah. No, 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 no. I was speaking about uh, KP and laundry. Me. Oh, oh my you my are shit. I don't know how I'm ever going to thank you. Whites turn oh. Shape. oh, right. <laughs> As if he would do his own laundry, let alone separate clothes. Okay, well, it will be. That's clothes. for sure. Like, I mean, even chair, if there's another trial, it won't be like the first one. I'm not talking about the trial. I'm putting your clean clothes on the chair. It's just that's the place that I always find. It's really finally over. I, I just, I, I can't believe it. It's really over, and uh, Richard's really gone. Can't you be more clever than that?
We will continue with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. Should we worry about Shane being in the kitchen? Oh, no, he'll be fine. He took it as a challenge now that we said that thing about the laundry. Well, Ross is with him to make sure he doesn't burn anything. And what about your roomies? Are they good in the kitchen? Oh, they're really good with the microwave. Not so good with the dishes. Uh, <laughs> ben orders gourmet takeout from Towers. Of course he does. Mm -hmm. So much for Animal House. Oh, it's still that. Has Tony been to see the place? No. Tony has not been by the house. But you know what he did for you, don't you? At the prison? How did you know? Well, one of the guards told me. You didn't say anything about it. Well, that's because the day that you came to visit, you had a lot on your mind, and I didn't think the time was right. Yeah. I don't know whether I would have anyway. I know you still care a great deal for Tony, don't you? It's okay. You don't have to be embarrassed. No, it's not that. It's just you asking me that. It feels normal. Like you're back. I am. And it's all going to be good from now on, I promise. It's not that I haven't grieved. I have, you know, it, it, it's just that there's always been things to bump up against. The hotel's up and running, and my children are doing wonderful, and Reva's, you know, she's, she's home, and she's out of prison. And maybe you two could work things out. It's for you. Oh, did you break yourself? Oh, now how can I possibly eat lobster when you all are gonna eat pizza? <laughs> what are you talking about? Sure, you can do it. Thank you. I'm making dessert. Make a choice. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh wow. What's this? Here. Thank you. I put that on. <laughs> wow, we look at this. It's beautiful. We don't have any butter, Mom. Sorry. No butter. You two can work things out. You know that. I hope so. Oh. <laughs> you know, this... This wasn't about me being selfish. I know you said that, but it, it wasn't. All I did was try and take care of myself and my children and grieve my husband. I didn't agree with what Reva did, and I still don't. And I'm entitled to feel that way. That's all. I didn't press charges. I didn't want to sue her. I tried to stay as far away as I could, Josh, and I did not want to see Reva in jail. The only thing I wanted was to try and figure out how to live and deal with what had happened. I, I didn't need everyone coming up to me demanding that I forgive Reva so Reva would feel better. Oh. You know, I, I didn't know how to take care of Reva and make Reva feel better. And I just don't think it was fair that everyone expected me to. You're right, it wasn't fair. And I think Reva knew that better than I did. But I was scared, Cassie. I was really afraid that my wife was going to end up in prison. And I'm sorry. I apologize. And I want you to know that I will be forever grateful to you for what you did. I want to get out of here. Reva you know, looks like she's having so much fun. Wait, will you tell her goodbye for me, please? Yeah, I'll tell her. You sure you want to go? 
There's something I really need to do. Okay. I can't. It's it's um slippery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a bit good. Well, I'm gonna go to the tail. Is there anything in there? Yeah, there is. Oh, I've got my fork. Oh yeah, there is a little bit right there. So Danny just made it look like he was betraying Carmen. Well, no, he was technically. But for us and for the feds. Right. So we have to catch her in the act. Okay, we already have attempted murder on Carmen, along with a long laundry list of other things. Oh, yeah, and then it's goodbye, Santos family. Right, we put the old lady in jail, we put Carmen in jail, Tony gets immunity, and the Santos family's out of business. Okay, but then why didn't you yank your sister out of there before I, tonight? I, I tried. I tried. Look, she's over there. She's gonna get herself killed, or somebody else. All right, she's gonna blow our whole case. You gotta help me. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. But I wanna stop, and I, I wanna get an extra set of cuffs. Yeah. I don't want to get a muzzle from your sister. Hey, 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 I thought you were sick. It was a fever, wasn't it? What? I'm burning up, but it's not a fever. You, you are unbelievable. Do you have any idea what you... This is perfect. Where's everybody? Well, your aunt and your grandmother went to Mass, so we have this whole big house to ourselves. Eden, what are you doing? Just told me. <sighs> Doesn't that feel good? I get it. You just want to be held, huh? I don't, I don't know what's going on tonight. Like, seriously, the whole world has officially gone insane, and you. Look, I'm sorry that I lied to you, but I am not looking for undying love here. We're just having a lot of fun. Do you understand that? <laughs> the security and the guards and the dogs. Yes, honey, it's like getting past Mutt and Jeff. I've been after these guys for so long I could break into their medicine cabinet while they're in the shower. Well, I think anybody could because this place looks pretty deserted, inside and out. Yeah, well, Tony's car's outside and so is Eden's, but look at this. A little romance. Oh. Well, something tells me she didn't say no. You know what? I think Let's we should get bedroom. out of here. No. Bedroom. No, 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 we can't barge in on it. Are you crazy? No way. Watch me.
Nice of Ross and the kids to have sudden pressing engagements. You think we were a bit too obvious about the fact that we wanted to be alone? Well, not me. I'm the queen of subtlety. Oh, you're laughing. Even though I can't hear you, I can tell. <laughs> you and Cassie seemed awfully intense. Yeah. Is she okay? I think she will be. I hope so. I feel like this whole trial is over. Knock wood. Knock wood. It's a new beginning for me and Cassie. Hopefully. I'll put my money on you, too. You have time now. And there's no great crisis hanging over her head or yours. I just like the sound of that. Me, too. On a beach at night, I think about um, when we were on that beach in San Cristobal when we were hiding, and uh, you told me about the festival. Candles floating on boats in the water. for each lover and a candle for each soul trying to find their way back home. And I am, have been trying to find my way back home, Richard, for months. And I have done everything but this. Thank you. Thank you for loving me so well and keeping me safe. I watch out for you. I'd always watch out for you. I swear. I will watch out for you, Cassie. And you have a family. You will never be alone. Are idiots. What do you think? Put your clothes What's on. What are you doing here? You know, she she rang the bell. What are you doing here? Where's Carmen? Where's Carmen? She's at church with Tony's grandmother. What? 
What are you talking? So. When your mother's Carmen Santos. You're no longer my son. Not anymore. You can't be trusted. You can never be safe. It didn't have to come to this. <gasps> no, no! Guiding Light, only on CBS, the number one daytime network. This has been Guiding Light.